Imagine standing on the shore, gazing out at the endless blue of the Pacific Ocean. What if I told you a tsunami can cross the Pacific Ocean in less time than your school day? That's right, while you're sitting through math, science and lunch, a tsunami could be racing across thousands of miles of open water. Tsunamis are not just regular waves, they're in a league of their own, totally different from the gentle waves you see lapping at the beach or the ones you might surf on a summer day. They start when something massive disturbs the ocean, like an underwater earthquake, a volcano, or even a huge landslide. Sometimes, even a meteorite crashing into the sea can set one off. These events unleash a huge amount of energy into the water, far more than any storm ever could. When this happens, the energy moves through the water, not just on the surface, but all the way from the ocean floor to the top. This creates a wave that's super long and really fast. Unlike normal waves which are caused by wind and only affect the surface, tsunami waves carry energy through the entire depth of the ocean. We're talking speeds up to 500 miles per hour, about as fast as a jumbo jet. That's faster than most cars, trains, or even the world's quickest speedboats. But here's the wild part. In the deep ocean, you might not even notice a tsunami. Out there, the wave is spread out over a huge distance, making it almost invisible to ships and boats. The wave could be only a few feet tall, barely enough to rock a boat, but stretching for miles and miles. Imagine a wave as long as a city, quietly gliding beneath the surface. It's only when it gets close to land that it grows taller and more dangerous. As the water gets shallower, the wave slows down and rises up, sometimes turning into a towering wall of water. So how fast can a tsunami cross an ocean? Let's break it down. Well, the Pacific Ocean is about 6,000 miles wide. That's like traveling from Los Angeles to Tokyo, or from one side of the United States to the other, twice. At top speed, a tsunami can travel from one side to the other in just 12 hours. That's less time than it takes to fly across the ocean in a plane, and way faster than any ship could ever go. That means a wave starting near Japan could reach the US West Coast before you finish your day. It's like a race against time, and the wave almost always wins. That's why scientists use special sensors to spot tsunamis early and warn people in time. These sensors float in the ocean and can detect even the slightest changes in water pressure, sending alerts to warning centers around the world. So next time you hear about a tsunami, remember, it's not just a big wave, it's nature's ultra-fast traveler. These waves are powerful, unpredictable, and deserve our respect. Stay safe and always listen for warnings. Knowing how tsunamis work can help you and your community be prepared for these incredible forces of nature.